everyone, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Guys, today I will be doing uh, a review of the new Chanel. It is the compact powder foundation. Guys, I really wasn't planning on picking this one up because I was, I did put myself on a foundation no buy because I am trying to use up some of my foundations but one of my followers asked me about this foundation and I decided to pick it up because I do have the older version in this foundation and I do like it very much anyway before I get into this video guys for those of you who are new here on this channel, I do makeup, I do perfume, I do skincare. So I hope you will find something on this channel which interests you and you will consider subscribing in the near future. Guys, do remember to hit the bell button because a lot of you are telling me you are not seeing my new uploads. I know for myself, sometimes, I do not get uploads from channels that I am subscribed to and sometimes when I look at my account, yeah, the bell button is not checked or it's no longer checked. I don't know how YouTube does this. So why don't we get into this uh, review, this unboxing. By the way, I am not wearing any skincare on my face. The only thing I have done is my eyebrows and I have added a bit of my Gila uh, eye primer. The products, they come like this and it is the Ultra Lata Compact Powder Foundation. I ordered this, I think about... Uh, a week ago and when I ordered you can choose yeah this is already the holiday packaging and I chose the packaging with this uh, charm on here I hope you can see it it's the Chanel logo honestly I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this I might use this for uh, putting Christmas gifts or something like this. This is what I was thinking when I got this. I also got some samples and like I said, I am not wearing anything on my face. So I wanted to use one of these cream samples. Business as usual, I got the Chanel Sublimage Le Cream. I do like the Sublimage products, but I have not decided as yet to get a full uh, jar or bottle of the cream. And this one is new. I got also a five milliliter sample. It is this Le Lift uh, cream. So I'm going to apply this to my face and when it is absorbing, I will go ahead and I will uh, unbox the foundation. Mm, this feels very nice, very cooling. It is very smooth on the skin. I am being careful with the eyebrow area so I do not erase my eyebrows. I will not put this underneath of my eyes because I am using this for the first time. So I don't know if it will irritate. So this is the Le Lift Cream. It is a smoothing and firming cream. Yeah, so this is five milliliters. I think I have enough maybe for one or two more uses in here. It's a little bit sticky, but it is not uncomfortable. So this is the, um, the compact foundation. Guys, I do have the older version of this uh, powder foundation. The older one, it was called double perfection luminaire and it was a mattifying compact foundation when i went onto the website i noticed that it is the same packaging 
So I decided I would get a refill as opposed to getting a complete product. The refill is 45 euros and if you got an entire new compact complete it is costing 60 euros. So I mean this is the old compact and this is what it looked like. Also I thought it was awesome to do this this way because I can show you guys a shade which is no longer available in the new foundation. So this is what this looks like. It says it is Ultra Latin Recharge and Refill. It is the Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation. This, it is the compact powder version to this foundation. This is the Ultra Latin also. It is the Ultra Comfort All Day Wear Flawless Finish Foundation. I do have this in BD71 and B80. So I am just going to uh, open this and uh, this is what the refill looks like. And when it's opened, you have the instructions and the sponge applicator and the refill is in here. I will now go ahead and just remove the older version of this foundation. If you just squeeze in here, then this comes right out. It's quite easy to do actually and this is the new the replacement or the new version. Guys I just thought I already have this compact and it is still in very good condition so I would just go ahead and replace this. And voila, here we go. I now have the new powder in the old compact. Yeah, I refilled it. So for those of you who have the Chanel foundation in the mattifying compact or any other uh, powder foundation from uh, Chanel, the new foundation fits perfectly in here and I saved 15 euros. And <laughs> this is what it looks like with the sponge. I did use quite a bit of the Perfection Luminaire as you can see from here. These days I do not use a lot of powder foundations due to the fact that I do have mature skin but I do remember the Perfection Luminaire did look quite nice on my skin so I am hoping that this is similar. This is the shade BD91. In this foundation in the Ultra Latin, they do not have a B80, which is was my perfect shade in the uh, Perfection Luminaire. I'm just gonna apply to one half of my face and then we can see. I am looking here in the mirror and it is very smoothing. It does not accentuate my pores and so far I am liking the way this look. This is the reason why I did like the Perfection Luminaire so much. I did not get these dry patches that you sometimes get with powder foundation. Powder foundation, it's not something that you can cake on. So I just applied this, you know, uh, twice, yeah? I went into the compact twice. And this is the shade BD91 on my complexion. In Chanel foundations, I am normally taking B80, which is the base shade. 
sometimes it's a bit too cool or BD71 or BD91. Lately, for example, in the number one de Chanel, the BD91 is perfect and also I have BD91 in, I would say, most of the new foundations also in the Sublimage foundation. Sometimes the BD91, it is a bit too warm, but it works. I do wish that Chanel would probably come up with a BD, I would say 80. This would be for me, maybe the perfect shade. But this is the way this looks. I think it is very nice. It has very good coverage. It covers my imperfections, but I must say I do not think this is one for people with dry skin. I just use some of these cosmetic sponges to make some swatches. This is here the BD91 and at the bottom we have the B80. The BD91 of course it's a bit more golden whereas the BD80 it is more neutral. It's a bit sad in this new version of this foundation, the Ultra uh, Latoya, that there is no B80 in the powder version because for me, I think this is a much better shade. I do have the B80 in the liquid version of this foundation. Guys, I am gonna finish the rest of my face. I will wear this foundation for at least, I would say, maybe seven hours today. And at the end of the day, I will film the ending of this video and I will let you guys know uh, how this foundation held up and whether or not I prefer the powder or the liquid version of this foundation. So I'll see you guys later. Hi everyone, it's me, I am back. As you can see, my makeup is different. I have filmed a couple videos and I have put this foundation to the test. I have, uh, you can say, blotted my nose. Uh, I would say twice today because the lights, you know, from filming, it's a bit strong. But other than that, I have not fixed my base. I have just uh, did my eye makeup. This new compact foundation from uh, Chanel. Guys, this is not bad at all. I mean, I have been under the lights for many hours today. I have filmed quite a few videos and uh, I did go to lunch. And yeah, this is what the foundation looks like. Like I said, I have powdered my nose a couple times yeah i did see the foundation i mean it wasn't breaking but i did have a bit of oiliness around the nose area but for me this is normal i do have a very oily nose but in terms of my uh complexion yeah i am looking at myself in the mirror and this held up pretty good i mean i have a friend here so <laughs> do not judge the foundation based on this this is a present from uh la mer guys i think this is pretty good normally i stay away from um, powder foundation since I would say starting around the age of I would say 40 when my skin really became mature skin. I do not like sometimes that you get these dry patches from um, powder foundation. In terms of the liquid foundation, if I had to choose between the powder foundation and the liquid foundation, I would say the liquid foundation does look a bit more 
are luminous. In terms of the powder foundation, I think it looks very nice and this would be awesome for travel. By the way, this foundation, they do make the claim it has a luminous matte finish and it is a combination of uh, comfort and coverage this is true and it is a fine powder which blends to the skin further it says this foundation has absorbent powder particles to prevent unwanted shine i did powder twice yeah my nose but the rest of my face it is fine it is looking quite good also it says it is a mineral powder this does have quite a bit of fragrance but honestly when applying this to my face with the pad i was not overwhelmed with fragrance so it does dissipate quite quickly all in all guys i think this is uh it is a good powder foundation and i think the effects might even be uh better on younger plumper skin i do have mature skin which is textured reason why i do not buy very often uh powdered foundations but please give this a try it works on mature skin and the finish is quite nice anyway guys thanks for watching i wish you all a lovely rest of day and hope to see you again soon on my channel tschüss